Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for the new moon in Capricorn on the 23rd. I have split the deck here and I have self-love, pouring your cup of love into yourself instead of others, your own well-being and happiness, okay? So I have that there and we have triggering others to check their inner demons. They don't like how you make them feel, how they treat others or you badly because of your light, I feel. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Oh, celebration, drinks, love, and family get together. So that is kind of right in the uh, celebration of Christmas time. <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> All right. So let's look at this new moon coming up in Capricorn. New moon and copy, please. Spirit, let's pick up on that energy. See what spirit has to say. Whoa. Don't let pride get in your way. Any other messages? Any other messages for the new moon reading thank you spirit communication is key okay let us see what do we have here okay so don't let pride get in your way and we kind of already know step out of your comfort zone okay <laughs> Nothing will come of this situation, void of course moon. And that is, if you don't step out of this comfort zone, I feel that you are, nothing will come of what is meant to come for you. If you don't step out of this comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? It's like your wishes won't come true if you don't, move forward with them, right? You and your loved ones are safe, so you are protected, so don't worry about that. And this change, this powerful change is coming. So, wow. And remember, communication is key here, including with your family members, <laughs> okay? All right, that's on the fence. So, Empress, you are on the fence for this person here. What's going on for the new moon in copy? Wow, okay. I'm going with that one that way, that one that way, that one that way, <laughs> okay. So there may not be any offers coming in for this Empress at this time. Nothing long-term. But the Seven of Pentacles, there may, you may lack awareness about maybe, um, somebody that is an emotionally um maybe traumatized you may have been emotionally traumatized empress somebody may have emotionally traumatized you being the empress Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you lack awareness of something here. But I feel like you're coming out of that confusion here with the Seven of Cups. There's clarity and an ending of a, some type of illusion for you. I feel like you're seeing things much better um, now than you have in a long time. There's somebody is watching you, maybe even wanting to stand up for you here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and this may be somebody that got a tarot reading on you or is a tarot reader and has their own platform. Two of Swords, there's some anxiety, maybe a truth revealed here about how they truly feel about you. What's this Five of Cups in reverse? Somebody still moving forward despite things that have happened. Five of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Somebody wants a reconciliation here, possibly, with the tarot reader, but they're not healed. Warning. <laughs> they're going to come in, and I feel like 
they haven't done the work. They might say they have, but just know they have not. Yep, four of swords in reverse. So they're thinking about this empress. I don't feel like this may be, not be you. I feel like this is this person. They're thinking about you. They're not healed. And what was this again? The page of pentacles. Yeah, they may lack direction. Don't have a focus. May not want to give an offer. Yeah, they're thinking about you, Empress, but they're not doing anything about it. Yeah, your wish fulfillment for this person. And with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, this might be coming more and um, more clear to this person that you are their wish fulfillment. What is the Seven of Cups in reverse? What is this clarity, this ending of this illusion? No more confusion. What is this? Knight of Swords, okay. So somebody might be coming in kind of reckless, maybe aggressive, maybe even um, viciously because they're clear now. What is this page? Okay, so this might be somebody that you don't know. This might be somebody that is new. They may be stuck in the past or naive about something here. They are watching you though. What's this 10 of Pentacles? I'm go that way, yeah. This person might be coming out of some type of betrayal they have gone through here. Yeah. What's this tarot reader? What is this? Five of Swords. Yeah, there's been some crappy shit said about this tarot reader. Maybe they're crazy. They've been stabbed in the back. You don't want this person. They're not the same religion or they're spiritual. It's all bad, bad, bad. <laughs> and this person is not sure which, what to do. Some truth is going to be revealed here. They may be under judgment from spirit here. Somebody's still moving forward though. They're not going to be held back. And I feel like it's this empress is not going to be held back. Temperance in reverse. So maybe impatient, maybe even having conflict, still moving forward despite any conflicts that might be happening still moving forward and with the temperance that is I think Sagittarius energy there what's the five of wands in reverse please five of wands in reverse uh, somebody wants a reconciliation here ah the lovers and the upright even it was a it was a close one I couldn't tell which really uh, which way it should really go but it was an upward up and there is a reconciliation. There is love here. What's on the bottom of the deck? The Empress. They really love the Empress here. Or this Empress has a lot of self-love no matter what they've gone through. And for all these trials and tribulations, if you are this tarot reader who is this Empress, you are going to get unimaginable wealth happening for you. There is somebody coming in here though, and you may feel like they're coming on too strong, okay? But they see you as wish fulfillment. They may not have understood this in the past. They may have lacked that awareness that you were the one for them, okay? They see you, okay? But they haven't healed what they needed to heal here. Um, they didn't have the, they weren't focused on you. They may have been focused on other things, okay? And with the hermit in reverse, 
this is maybe you rejected this person or they feel you will reject them okay they may even feel lonely and be thinking about you but with the four of swords in reverse they may be exhausted and recovering from something here yeah they may be trying to recover regardless yeah I kind of feel like they're recovering on which direction to go when it comes to you they may you may be in the public eye here then maybe that's how they're watching you is off maybe um, you are this tarot reader that has a platform and that's how they're watching you maybe their friends are making fun of you maybe people don't want them to come to you now remember this is a general reading and this is for the collective and the collective is any zodiac sign may resonate with this reading okay that's what the collective means all right so this is a new person six of cups in reverse this is somebody that may have been stuck in the past but you're coming out of whatever or this person is is coming out of this may be you coming out of some type of deception this may be them it may have been that they somebody wanted them for their pentacles this may be this empress that is building these pentacles and maybe had people um, people that really took advantage of this person's generosity they really stuck this person good in the back like devastated them making fun of them they know this is going to come out there's anxiety definitely here and somebody definitely definitely does not um, want to wait there may be conflict here too though they may be not wanting the conflict but they don't want to wait any longer they're going to move forward towards you I feel like they um, with the five of wands with the lovers here okay this is somebody maybe from your past that wants a reconciliation with you even though there's the six of cups in reverse okay this person may be watching you but they're still moving towards you moving forward maybe acceptance of this change or accepting their destiny I still feel like this may be somebody new to you and even though this means um, uh, reconciliation even I kind of feel like there may things may not have they may have started but I don't feel like they ever got off the ground okay but I feel like this person knows there's something with you here they're worried about getting rejected and they're lonely without their empress wow communication is the key there's a powerful change coming here you're gonna have to really step out of your comfort zone here and keep moving forward towards your empress don't let pride get in your way here I feel like depending on who you are to this Empress I feel like this Empress is in a good spot here she's in the upright she's gone through a lot maybe is just working maybe isn't even uh, looking at love right now maybe just building building pentacles keeping busy loving on herself and if you are this empress you've done the work 
you're becoming known okay and even if somebody does come in and it is somebody new that has been watching you maybe has watched your journey about what maybe you've gone through and I feel like with the five of swords here they may feel defeated maybe there was a reading that they resonated with Maybe someone hurt them or is trying to hurt this tarot reader. With no, um, with this anxiety happening here and this truth revealed, I feel like they might be getting karma and they may try coming forward to you, but do not engage with this person at this time. I feel like they need time to heal. And I feel if you are this empress, you've already done the healing. This could be your person coming in for you. There is love here. Let's have a look at these other cards here. Kind of went through everything again, and, and I kind of have a couple different scenarios there. Take whatever resonates for you. Leave the rest. Yeah, somebody feels there's a clock ticking. They need to get moving. Yeah, they may have some conditioning or outdated thinking, and they may even feel like they're in over their head here they may be replaying events in their mind maybe of a conversation you had with this person i don't feel like anything became of this yeah there's the phoenix rising there's a new phase a rekindle a renewal a transformation growth and a change of mind and i feel like this person is clear now of what is going on they're looking at um, kind of maybe maybe being a bit reckless here. And I feel like they're going through maybe a new phase of what needs to be healed here. What's the Six of Cups? Yeah, healthy choices. Yeah, I feel like they may, their health may be... Um, at play here uh, I feel like with the page of swords here they're watching you and they may feel um, a lot of love towards you but what they need to be doing is their self-care and they need to that hasn't been done they haven't loved thyself yet that I feel like that is your person Receiving what you want, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, issue, closure and issues. So I feel like whatever this empress is going through, all of that has been done. Yeah. Somebody might not like that you go on a date here with somebody. This tarot reader may go on a date and somebody's not liking this. Somebody's been talking shit about them. What's this judgment here and no focus or anxiety? I mean, with the truth revealed, what is this judgment? Oh, abundance. Okay. So keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. And I feel like this person is going to have that judgment call here and by spirit and I feel like they know what the truth is they know what they have to do what is this temperance okay the butterfly Re relationship evolving to the next phase healing their inner child so they may end up doing some healing work they they may feel like they have to rush this because they are needing to move forward and they know they can't wait long. They want more time to heal. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Oh my God, that's so awesome. There might be a reconciliation here. Yeah, I kind of feel like with this empress this person is going to realize 
that whatever rejection they had with this empress, there was things that needed to happen in order for you two to come back together. Keys on a ring, many options. Yeah, there may be, um, there may be, have been many options to make a decision on. Um, maybe this person is not, maybe they're unconventional. Um, maybe they had a lot of night, uh, one night stands and that may be something that you feel from this person. Okay. But spirit is saying that you're meeting the one you need to open your heart getting together. Okay. So try not to be afraid of what's coming. Get out of your comfort zone here and something might have to be let go here because there's a change coming in and you may end up communicating with somebody here going on that date having that abundance mindset here that helps rejuvenate whatever this is and maybe kickstart it back into happening this person may not get rejected after all what's behind this not enough. Stabbed in the back. Sword in the rose. This may be a test. Engagement ring, karmic relationship. They may even come in and ask you to marry them, but just understand they haven't ascended yet. They may ask you to get engaged, but they don't really want to get married. I don't feel like they really... Um, this might just be... Yeah, maybe self-sabotage, deception, truth revealed, maybe even about being engaged to someone else. And there was a karmic relationship with this. So you may have talked to this person and they may have been in a karmic relationship when you talked with them and spirit wasn't going to let that happen they needed to do some ascending here before they could come in with any wedding rings or have any major um, love with this empress there had to be some work done here and there might be somebody else that is coming in with this I like you Someone likes you, romance is blooming, passion, twin flame. Your twin flame is coming in. This could be your twin flame that needed to ascend for you guys to come together. Uh, it might be somebody in your twin flame's um, energy that is <laughs> malicious, the other woman. This person may feel that they are a soulmate to your person, but really they're not. They're a karmic. They may call them in for love and stuff and want to talk over coffee about stuff. Yeah, this might get sabotaged by this person or has in the past. Yeah, and this person's a narcissist. They're not planning. They're just going to use your person so they don't come to you. So you're going to have to discern whether this person has learned anything, if they have ascended, and if you want to be in this twin flame relationship, because twin flames are one of the harder ones. They're, you're able to see and break patterns, usually with a twin flame. There's usually ego breakdowns. Um, usually shared beliefs in spirituality and you mirror each other so you may see yourself in this other person and decide wow do i i do that i don't like that that's not a good look <laughs> you know so it, it is tough because um the dynamic between the two is you're always learning and evolving so 
And then with soulmates, it's usually easy, best friends. They're kind of like your soul family. There's nice, deep, warm, safe, and comfy kind of relationship. A deep soul connection. You may even have known this person before. So, wow, this is deep. <laughs> well, you guys, you're going to have to decide on this person, I feel. You're really going to have to discern on whether this is going to be a healthy choice for you or not. And keep in mind, um, there may be lessons and things you need to learn and you might be tested. So this person coming in may be a test for you. Maybe a test. So and they may have lots of options. They may be very nice looking. They may only be wanting to string you along as a one night stand. Maybe they do have lots of options that they want to explore. So you're going to have to discern on whether this person is worthy of your love. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there for this new moon reading in Capricorn. <laughs> so just know that from now to January, from the 23rd to January, um, the end of uh, Capricorn cycle, that this person's going to come back around or somebody new is going to come in that doesn't have the best intentions for you just by what I see in this reading. And it is going to be up to you to decide. I feel like you have the power on whether or not to say yes or no to this date. Okay. And you're going to know if it's this person that has ill intentions towards you, or if it is somebody in their energy. Okay. So Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Look for the special message I have for you about my tea leaf reading channel. Um, I will be having a video on that, maybe even in my community box to let people know about what's going to be happening for me. All right, guys, please take care. Stay blessed. All right, later.